So if you follow me on Instagram, you know that a few days ago I went to Universal and you're probably like, Lissy, where's the Universal vlog? If you follow me on Twitter, you know where that Universal vlog is. It doesn't exist. So <laughs> my camera was dead and I was really sad. And it was the first time I was at Universal and it was going to be a great vlog, but I missed that opportunity. However, I did want to talk to you guys real quick about these little guys. So there's lots of confusion about um, Florida residency passes and stuff for Universal. So let me break it down for you. When I went, Lauren and I went with Lauren and two of her coworkers, and we heard like conflicting things about what you should bring. And she's like, if you, like so many DCP people go and they know the housing ID, just bring your housing ID. I was like, all right. I also brought my program guide just in case because that's what had our address in it. And then I also brought, um, by that time, I mean, gates have came, and that was the only piece of mail that I've gotten at this address so far, but that doesn't necessarily have your actual address on it. So we were kind of iffy. So when we got there, uh, the lady was like, bro, no, if you guys work for Disney, you have to bring the letter. What she's talking about is you have to go to your front desk at whatever complex you live at and say, I need a proof of residency letter. You need, need, need to bring that to Universal because that's pretty much what they take unless you have a piece of mail that has your name and address and stuff on it down here. So I didn't have that and she, she was, she talked to her manager and since I had all this stuff, she made an exception which she's like, listen, we never do this. Tell all your friends, so I am telling all my friends, I'm telling all my friends who watch my vlogs, you must bring your Florida residency letter from the front desk. You have to. So anyway, the passes. I got the power pass, which is the pass that does not have free parking because I don't have a car, I don't need the parking, and it has some blackout dates. So she said for the spring, the only really blackout dates are for the Mardi Gras party. Uh, so I was like, all right, Mardi Gras isn't really a big thing where I'm from, and if I wanted to go to a Mardi Gras party, I would go to Port Orleans where it's free for me. So I was like, yeah. So what I did was I paid, dun da 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 it's $189.99, but with taxes and stuff, it came out to $202.34. Um, so that's the price if you guys are interested in the pass with blackout dates and no preferred parking. Lauren, however, since she has a car, um, she wanted to get the pass, and Lauren is from New Orleans, so Mardi Gras is a big thing for her. She needed to see what Universal has for uh, Mardi Gras as well. She got the whole shebang. She got no blackout dates. She got free parking and all that great stuff, and her pass came out to about $290. Um, so I just thought you guys should know. And if you have any other questions about that stuff, you can just leave it in the comments, and I will be glad to answer it for you. Now, Sydney and I need to go grocery shopping, and I figured it might be interesting to see, well, for you guys to see, um, how some CPs go grocery shopping. I can't talk right now. <sighs> grocery shopping. Okay, we're gonna roll the intro because I didn't find a, I didn't make a good stop for the intro, so here we go! Come on, everybody, here we go! Up to Neverland! So we made it to Publix, and how we did it is, this is kind of loud, we're gonna, okay. So, just a reminder, we live at Patterson, so we walked from Patterson to Publix, and then we're going to take the bus back, because how the bus runs is, after it stops at Chatham, it goes to Walmart, then it goes to, which doesn't even go to the Walmart that's near us, it goes like so far away, and then it goes to like the post office and other things. And then the last stop is Publix, and then it goes back to the housing complexes. So instead of wasting all that time, we just walked to Publix, and we're gonna take it on the last stop back to the housing apartments, housing complexes. Um, so yeah, here we are at Publix. Here's something I wanna show you. For those of you who've never heard of Publix before you came down here, like myself, uh, Publix is really cute. They always have like these buy one, get one free sections here. And they just had English muffins, so I'm getting one of those for free. Sydney's judging me. And like this whole area where Publix is, is, it, is that buy one get one free, Sid? Yeah, no, they're buy one get one, or 
two for five dollars. Yeah. They're really good for breakfast foods, and you can stick them in your purse or book bag or whatever you carry. And they're good snack foods. Yep. Thinking like a CP right there. <laughs> And like this whole area where Publix is, there's like a whole ton of stuff. There's like Subway and there's a pizzeria, which I have to try. It's got my New York stamp of approval. <laughs> um, and then they have Chinese food, which Cindy said she had the other night. She said it's pretty good and they got a lot of good deals. And they have like a Sony store. So I just bought an ethernet cable right before we got here. So I'm hoping that's gonna make these videos go up faster and the apartment's Wi-Fi to go faster in general because I'm sucking up all the Wi-Fi trying to upload like huge HD files to the internet. So there's that. Uh, so we're gonna do some more shopping. I just had to vlog these bowls for Danny. That's, that's for you, kid. That's for you. Also, these are super easy to find in Florida, Mom. This is my second Publix trip in a row where they were just right there on the shelf. Just thought you should know. Okay, so me personally, I do a lot of like frozen vegetables and frozen meats because with how crazy my schedule gets, I don't know when exactly, um, you know, I'm going to eat it because if I just get like meat or like fresh vegetables or something, those go bad. Um, usually with frozen, they stay much, much longer. Um, so that's just something I do, but I'm kind of rubbing off on Sydney because the other night I made her some of that chicken and she's like that's so good i need some so cindy's like uh which one of the cues do you get i also <gasps> have chicken nuggets that are shaped like penguins because i'm a little kid that's why because she's adorable. and because i'm a grown adult and i can and no one can tell me no yes haha <laughs> mom <laughs> so cindy as you're rearranging walk us through some of your favorite deals um let's see so growing up my mom always taught me how to coupon and stuff like that so i'm one of those people but i'm not crazy like, because you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so, things. Uh, really great things. These little bars, like I said earlier, they're two for five dollars. Usually, so every now and again, you give them from two to four, depending on where you go. And they're really good to throw in your bag, because if you're like me, you get munchies sometimes, so they're good snacks. Um, suddenly, salads. These are really easy to make, because um, all they need is a little bit of cold water and vegetable oil, and you kind of mix them all together. Um, and these usually run you about a dollar, dollar fifty when they're on sale, which is great. Um, one of my favorite things in the entire world, pasta noodles, because you can use them for pasta, you can eat them with sauce, you can eat them with butter and cheese and stuff, so they're really versatile, and these are buy one, get one free, and it was like a dollar fifty for both of these, like dollar sixty, something like that, they're not very expensive. Um, one great thing about most supermarkets, uh, they have awesome deals because if something's about to expire, everyone knows you can still use it for a couple, you know, days afterwards and everything. But with it being a supermarket, they have to have responsibility and everything. So check out the um, plant sections because you can get these awesome V8 fusion juices for two dollars instead of the regular like three or four. And if you're like me, these are delicious. And you know, if they're cheaper, that's wonderful. Um, so yeah, this is Couponing 101 from Sydney. <laughs> One of my favorite things, let me see if I can find it, is, no, where is it? Where is it? I showed you the English muffins, which was cool. But, all the frozen things. Listen, don't judge me on the way I pack this. I'm not the one who works at a supermarket. That's my boyfriend's department. Um, ha, here we go. Okay, so Nutella was two for six. Like what? Uh, so I needed Nutella and I was like, Normally one is like six bucks itself, so yum! So I'm excited about that. But yeah, otherwise I didn't do as well as I should have. I was just like, give me all the food. So yeah. Now we're waiting for the bus. I'm gonna drop these things off, and I'm probably gonna end this vlog here. And then we might go to Hollywood Studios, and that would be a separate vlog. So if I'm wearing, Cindy and I are wearing the same clothes later. You can't judge us because it's the same day. Okay, leave us alone. Bye. Surprise, not ending the vlog there. So, how long have we been waiting for the bus in? Um, let's see. Um, probably about 30 minutes. Probably. Seems about right. So, if you are in walking distance, it's super frustrating knowing that you can just walk home, but when your groceries are kind of heavy. We suggest going to the front desk 
and suggesting one of those like wheelie cart things. They're really cool. It's, it's like a wagon. It's like a big huge blue wagon. Yes. And you can take those. It has a handle, four wheels. They're free, right? Like, yeah, they're free. They're You're free. You're just like, hey, can I borrow one? And they're like, hey, sure. Just bring it back. And yeah. That's all you need. We suggest doing that so you can just walk back home. Don't be like us. Be smarter than us. Yes. Learn from our mistakes. Yeah, that's... I say it time and time again in all my vlogs. I make mistakes so you guys don't have to. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, because y'all owe us by now. Oh my god, especially the first day. Let's check in. And, oh, I will be forever you scarred by that. just look at a map, okay? I did. I just didn't look at it again. I did Google Maps like the night before. I just oh, well, obviously you didn't do it right. Shut up. Nobody asks it. Nobody likes it. Don't look at I'm her like favorite person in the entire world. Yeah, she loves get me. out of my shot. <laughs> so we had to walk home because the bus never freaking showed up. It was raining. And we realized it's exactly four weeks, so one month, since the first time Sydney and I got stuck in the rain grocery shopping. It's kind of a constant thing now. <laughs> Happy friendship month anniversary, Sydney. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Mwah. Bye, guys.